Welcome to Agro channel. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, a battery bank discharge and charging cycle. It is also called as equalizing charging of a battery bank. So before going to the video, please watch the content of other videos. If you like the content, do subscribe the channel. A battery bank discharge and charging cycle is very much essential in order to have a healthy battery bank in order to extend the battery battery bank life and also so this uh, battery bank discharge and charging cycle helps to avoid a uh, battery sulfation so if you don't know the battery sulfation the battery sulfation and the role of battery bank in a power generating station preventive maintenance of a battery bank is explained in my previous videos the links of those videos is given in the description so coming to this uh, battery bank uh, discharge and charging cycle so here we can see so this is a, a diagram of uh, a battery bank discharge the battery bank is connected to a dc load through a dc mccb so here dc load we taken as a uh, two electrodes nothing but two copper electrodes those are immersed in a salt water so then uh, the energy stored in a battery bank is uh, dissipated in the form of heat through this uh, salt water solution with uh, two electrodes so the detailed uh, discharge uh, charging cycle uh, can be explained in this video so here we can see uh, the discharging of a uh, battery bank in a electrolyte solution nothing but a salt water solution with uh, two electrodes so here we can see so in this discharge uh, we kept uh, the discharging current as 40 40 amps nearly 40 amps and the discharging can be uh, done with a uh, rate of 40 amps so the uh, complete uh, discharging procedure can be ex can be explained in this video so here we can see uh, a overview of a battery charger and a battery bank so battery bank is connected to a battery charger and it will get constantly charged with the battery charger and the battery charger is also connected to the dc distribution load so whenever a uh, supply fails uh, this battery charger will not lo uh, no longer to supply uh, load to the DC distribution board so then uh, this battery bank is connected to the DC distribution load all the DC loads will be taken care of this battery bank so whenever there is a failure of supply so here in order to uh, discharge a battery bank so this is the procedure the procedure for a battery discharge or charging cycle so that we can call it as a equalizing charge so first we need to uh, disconnect the uh, battery bank from the battery charger and then we have to arrange uh, a DC load in order to discharge the uh, energy stored in a battery bank. So this uh, DC load may be a constant DC resistive load or this might be a, a constant DC lamp load or we can uh, simply use a conventional method nothing but two electrodes with a electrolyte. So generally the electrolyte uh, can be used uh, is a, a salt water. So here uh, next uh, we need to connect the battery bank to the uh, dc load nothing but uh, we have to connect the battery bank to the uh, dc resistive load or dc lamp load or a uh, two electrodes with the electrolyte solution through an uh, dc mccb so then uh, we have to uh, switch on the dc mccb if you switch on the dc mccb so then the energy stored in a, a battery bank is dissipated to the dc load so that will get started so then we need to uh, set the required discharge current so that can be set by uh, varying the load in case of dc resistive load if you add uh, the number of resistances in parallel so then we can increase the discharging current similarly in a dc lamp load also if you add the number of lamps in parallel at the load so then we can increase the discharge current so in case of two electrodes with the electrolyte solution if you add the salt to the electrolyte nothing but uh, if you add the salt water to the solution then th this uh, discharging current will get increased if you want to decrease the uh, discharging current we need to dilute the electrolyte with normal water so then uh, after uh, getting a discharge up to 50 percent battery capacity so this discharge uh, uh, is recommended up to a 50 percent of battery capacity so that is because we have to um, we have to leave 50 percent of uh, battery capacity in order in order to have a healthy charging so if you have a battery bank of 100 ampere hour battery bank so we need to discharge we need to set the discharge current 
20 amps for 5 hours so then we can have we can discharge up to 100 ampere hour so if the battery bank capacity is 200 ampere similarly if you have a battery bank having a capacity of 200 ampere hour we have to discharge up to 50 percent nothing but 100 ampere hour so then we can set a current of 40 amps up to we can have 2.5 hours so then we can discharge uh, you can discharge 50 percent of battery capacity that is nothing but 100 ampere so like that you can calculate the discharge current depending upon the the battery capacity if the battery capacity is 400 ampere hour we have to discharge up to 200 ampere hour 200 ampere discharge can be done with 40 amps with 5 hours or of uh, 80 amps with 2.5 hours so like that we can set the discharge current depending upon the dc load which we have so uh, i will see i will show a video so there uh, we are having a 40 ampere hour uh, dc battery bank so there uh, we we set a current of uh, 40 amps and we discharged up to 5 hours nothing but we have discharged 200 ampere hour that is 50 percent of battery capacity so after this uh, 50 percent of battery capacity getting discharged so then we need to separate the battery bank from the dc load dc load by switch of the dc mccb so then we have to connect the battery bank to the battery charger in order to charge the battery bank so then uh, a battery bank uh, will get charge with a constant current mode that we can call it as a boost mode so this is how uh, we will do a discharge or a charging of a battery bank so that we will see here so here uh, we can see uh, the battery bank um, so here we can see so this is the uh, positive uh, negative terminal of a battery bank so here uh, one lead is disconnected nothing but the lead from the uh, charger is disconnected and uh, the uh, DC load terminal is connected the other terminal nothing but here the positive terminal also so we have removed the lead from the battery charger and we have connected the uh, lead of a dc load so dc load is connected through the dc mccb so here we can see the dc load the dc load is nothing but the two electrodes with a electrolyte solution nothing but salt water solution so here uh, we have uh, set the um, uh, DC current as uh, 40 amps by adding the uh, salt to water so then uh, we have discharged up to uh, 5 hours nothing but 200 ampere hour can be discharged we have 105 cells the nominal voltage is 2 volts so that's why it is showing 210 volts so this is how we will uh, discharge and charge the uh, batteries and we have a healthy battery bank and we have a a longer life battery bank if you have a proper discharge and charging cycles of a battery bank is done thank you